When troubles a brewing, when things seem their bleakest, when evil has taken over the world and is ruling it with an iron fist, you can bet that Olympia High School's everyday heroes will maybe save the day. This week, hero number 47, the Distractionator. Able to dodge any question, avoid any answer, steer clear of ever admitting that he is indecisive and a complete hypocrite. He is the Distractionator. And when you get right down to it, that's all life really is. Wow, that was remarkably profound. Why, thank you. Never would have expected it from you. I don't know. It felt a little cold to me. Is that really all there is? Yeah, like you could have done better. Oh, I could. All right, lay it on me. Hey, would you check out that ceiling? Man, what a gorgeous ceiling. Have you ever seen a ceiling that gorgeous? Can't say that I have. Who's an attractive ceiling? Who's an attractive ceiling? I'm not a ceiling. I'm a man. I think the attractive ceiling is you. Just for once admit that you can't think of anything. Hold on a second there, beautiful. You always were the jealous type. Come on, it'll just be a minute. Oh, I think I'm entitled to a life of my own. Fine, just sit there and sulk like you always do. Sorry, what were we talking about? Wow, that was a really lame attempt at distracting us. Hey, again there, beautiful. Uh, listen, are you still mad? How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? Uh, come on, you look real cute in that outfit. Did you just say lame a second ago? Yeah. Lame. Are you serious? Lame has got to be one of the single lamest words. That's sort of the point, isn't it? I just don't see why you would use lame when you could use, like, pathetic. Because I think it fits. Did you really even think about it? Because I have trouble believing that you did. Hey, what exactly are you implying? My work here is done. Why do you even done. try to stay one step ahead when we both know you're just going to fail? Why do you